there has been a misinterpretation and a misusing of that treaty by a sector in New Zealand, that does have to stop because it is driving a wedge between the two groups and the population. The fact is that under the treaty there are rights, pre-existing rights, which were reaffirmed. The need which Māori now have often arose out of the breach of those rights. So to address Māori need, you're actually recognising that certain rights have been breached. And it seems to me to be quite wrong to therefore call the addressing of need based on a breach of rights as a special privilege. It's also wrong because it misinterprets our history where the taking of power, the taking of land from Māori, actually resulted in the privileging of Pākehā. That the establishment of Pākehā institutions of power and Pākehā wealth was a privileging done at the expense of Māori. So perhaps we need a Minister of Race Relations to consider Pākehā privilege rather than misinterpret <coughs> the gross breach of rights which our people have endured for over 160 years. Yeah, welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is how a new singer, Sisters from Poland. Thinking about the freedom, I lost my way, baby could you hold on? Yeah, come on. I lost my way, but I went so far, I'm gonna need some space. I'ma tell you why I need, I need some air I need, I need some water uh, uh, I gotta be free yeah. Listen what I say I need, I need some air I need, I need some water, water. Uh, uh, I gotta be free Please be with me, be with me, that's what I need. 